You know what UFO stands for, right? Well, in case you don't, it means unidentified flying object. And here, we have an unidentified object, something that I didn't even know existed until I accidentally found it on Pergia's website the other day. Today, we are going to look at this, the 7 Artisan UFO lens. Let's do this. Hi, my name is Jimmy Chang, a professional photographer and filmmaker. This channel is about sharing my 16 years of experience with an aim to help you become a better photographer, videographer, or both. Together with gear and gadget with you to help you get those shots and videos better and quicker. You will also see a lot of Olympus and Michael Forsyth gear in this channel too, because I'm an Olympus ambassador. So smash that subscribe button and hit that bell to stay notified for all my upcoming content. You may remember that I did a review on the Olympus body cap lens, the 15mm f8. I thought it was a pretty fun little thing and very useful for photography training too, because of its simple fixed focal length and aperture design. And it's also a very yeah, cheap and low-end lens, more like a toy. With its simple plastic construction, it really lives up to its name, a glorified body cap. But this new 7 Artisan UFO lens is… well, let me rephrase it. If the Olympus body cap lens is made for kids, then the 7 Artisan is made for adults, grown-ups. And stay until the end, you'll find out why I have such a statement. Well, despite its target audience, this toy-like ultra-thin flying saucer is made with proper metal and glass elements. And yeah, it weighs a bit too, which is a little deceiving from its appearance. It can certainly withstand a lot of abuse because of its low profile design. With no focus or aperture ring, all you have is a solid piece of metal. And overall, it just looks and feels like a metal medallion than a body cap. Only one word. Great. I know I said that this disc is heavy, but I'm only saying it because of its size. At 49 gram, it's hardly heavy, but it's still double the weight of the unbelievable 22 gram of the Olympus body cap lens. They're basically the same size, so the difference is between metal and glass and pure plastic. And again, there is no moving part whatsoever, so you don't have to worry about breaking an aperture or focusing ring. All you're carrying is a solid metal disc. This is my surprise to you. Well, a pretty shock to me as well. Unlike the low file image quality of the Olympus body cap lens, the 7th Artisan UFO is a pretty decent performer. Well, at least for a pan focal lens. I'm also shocked to find out the design has six elements in four groups, which is pretty complex for a lens that is only a few millimeters thick. As you can see from my sample photos, this thing is sharp and contrasty. I wouldn't say that it win any contest or near any Olympus Pro level lens performance, but it is enough to do some enlargeable prints if needed. Central sharpness is pretty good, but edges do suffer from smearing and coma. Distortion is controlled in 80% of the frame, but will curve out at both left and right side of the frame. Flare is present, but I was expecting that due to the design and construction of the lens. Well, it doesn't really help when there's no lens hood either. Optical flare aside, I do like the rendering of this lens. It has a very interesting look to the image. The not so binary look adds a little bit of the analog feel to the overall image, which is great for both old school color and black and white photography. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with the image quality, considering its uniqueness and price of this lens. Mind you, the 7 Artisan UFO is a pan focal lens. For those who don't know what it is, well, it's basically a lens that has its fixed focal length and fixed aperture design that covers a very deep depth of field for fast point and shoot applications. Does it sound familiar to you? 
Yes, it sounds like hyper-focusing, right? This is also the very technique that many street photographer masters have been using in the past because it's absolutely no focusing decision to make, no delay from camera autofocus. You can just focus and concentrate on getting those decisive moments. At 18mm, this is also the perfect focal length for street snaps. With a fixed aperture at 6.3, you are getting an equivalent depth of field of f13 in full frame. It means that everything from 35cm to infinity is basically in focus. You don't even have to worry about all those supernatural mind-reading autofocus technologies. With such decent image quality, the discreet look and totally unobtrusive physique, you can have a lethal weapon for street photography when pairing a slim profile camera such as the Pan F or EM10 or EM5. I do have a couple of concerns. First, this UFO lens doesn't come with any lens cover for its front element, but it does come with a velvet pouch and a hard plastic case so it's well protected when it's not in use. I would love to see something that to cover the front element so I can leave the lens on the camera and slip into my jacket pocket without worrying the front element getting damaged. Second, with an aperture of 6.3, you are restricted to bright days, unless you're prepared to push the ISO. But then again, we now have fantastic noise reduction softwares such as DxO and Topaz, so we shouldn't have to worry about that at all. I don't know why no one else makes pan focal lenses anymore, but I'm thankful that 7 Artisan makes one and it truly brings me back to the good old days of photography. Remember that this UFO lens isn't just for show. Unlike the Olympus body cap lens, this 7 Artisan 18mm f6.3 is a genuine useful and performing lens. Bravo! That's it folks, I hope you enjoyed this video and you find this lens interesting. Let me know what you think about this pan focal lens and will you get one? Over the next few months, I will continue to find you some cool and fun micro four third gear. In the meantime, you know what to do. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to support this channel and me. Peace! Yes! Dun dun!